Today we're uh, commencing a journey with uh, this aircraft behind us, which is uh, Mirage A355. Uh, we're road transporting this aircraft to the Air Force Base in Townsville. It'll take us about three days to get there. Yeah, this aircraft uh, was uh, flew in the Australian Infantry in the 60s, 70s and the early 80s. Its last flight was in here to Ambly in 1987 and it hasn't flown since then. Uh, it's been a static display aircraft and uh, last year we refurbished it to the, uh, the state that it's in now to make it a, uh, a shiny example of the fleet of Mirage when they used to fly. And it's in 76 squadron colours and uh, that's the way it's going to be displayed at the Townsville Aviation Heritage Centre. The Mirage fighter uh, aircraft operated a lot out of Townsville, although they were, they were based at Williamtown in New South Wales. A majority of their exercises, a lot of their exercises were conducted out of Townsville, so the people in Townsville would be very familiar with the, sound, the sight and the sound of this aircraft, and that's why it's going back there. Well, the aircraft is, uh, is very light, hasn't got an engine in it, so it's only 4,000 kilos, but it's 8.2 metres wide, so that generates its own issues with road transport, so we have to go via a lot of the, the back roads out through Western Queensland, uh, we'll have full police escort, full pilot es escort, so it is a really wide load and that's why we're going up through Western Queensland to the Charters Towers and from there we'll turn east into Townsville. The obvious choice would have been to remove the wings off the aircraft and transport it up and then rebuild it, but we consider the age of the aircraft and the unknown quantity of the substructure of the aircraft, what, what condition it was in and whether if we took the wings off we could actually successfully put them back on again. So the decision was made, we'd do it the way it is now, rather than risk damage in the aircraft beyond repair. I work with a, a team of very dedicated and talented people. We're all RAF reservists, so we've all done you know, time in the Air Force, uh, and now we're, we're doing something uh, for the Air Force that we really like, which is back on the tools and restoring heritage aircraft that we've probably all worked on as young fellows. So the, the point is, with our aircraft, we make them safe for the public. So that's, that's our primary objective and, this, and, uh, and along with that we like to paint the aircraft up in a colour that represents how they looked in the day when they were fully operational and hence you can see that what we've got behind us here but uh, safety is our first consideration. In its day it was very unique, uh, it was the first aircraft high performance fighter that the, that the Air Force had and as much as it could go, go supersonic in the horizontal flight it's capable of in excess of 2,000 kilometres an hour and uh, it's uh, a spectacular performer in its day and a quantum leap for the, for the Air Force. Uh, it leads now into what we have at the moment, the F-35 Lightning.